Hey y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't want that right there. How do we do this better? How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing today? I hope you feeling great, great. I hope y'all are doing great, feeling great, looking great, smelling great, being great, all the way around. I just hope y'all are. I'm going to spray myself again <laughs> so I can make sure I'm smelling great, y'all. Y'all, I done gained some weight, like seriously. I feel just stuffed. Whew. Y'all, I'm being honest with myself. Like, I seriously got to get back into working out. I work out, be consistent for a good month, and then I go back and forth. Those Oreos and cookies just got me right now. Like, I got to get disciplined with eating Oreos and donuts and that is the weakness right now and chips i don't even normally eat a lot of chips like that but i ate a bag yesterday so y'all just get that truth out real quick on this uh you know tuesday being honest like that's how i feel right now i haven't even ate anything and i just feel like tight these pants is a size 16 i had to go up from a 14 to a 16 and yeah they fit me I, and i got tights on too so that's another reason why they just fit me but uh still i gain weight and i don't know why i'm saying that but um i don't know we just i'm i'm, I'm gonna just put that out there and just put a you know, just the honest, true fact out there right now, like, just to show you I'm not perfect. And to let you know that, you know, none of us are. We all got to work on something. So, me just put my truth out there. Me, I move around and work a lot. Honestly, I don't see how people don't stretch or work out because this job is really strenuous and you constantly moving. So, I at least have to stretch and move my body because if not, I will be hurting sore. But I can feel the difference of when I'm walking on the treadmill and actually working out. And now the days I haven't been working out, I'm more tired. I feel stuffed. <laughs> and, you know, so all that plays a part. When you eating bad and doing bad, your body will be able to feel it. You'll be able to tell. Um, one of my daughters yesterday was complaining about her stomach and teeth hurting. And I was like, well, you know, you have to be mindful of what you eat. You are eating candy. You are eating junk food. So you eating all that junk food is going to make you feel sick. Just like I'm feeling. I'm feeling stuffed. I'm feeling, but I think about what I ate. It's only right. <laughs> like, and then, you know, not putting enough water in your system. So. Definitely got to put in the water in you. But that's just like my little truth. Getting that out there. I have not been on it with my diet <laughs> at all. And y'all, if you can, if you see closely, like you'll be able to tell in my face. Because when I'm eating my sweets and stuff, my face, like, like say, you can really tell it if I'm really up close. Especially on this side. And then, yeah. So, you can tell it in my face and in my eyes. I think when I eat sweets and drink like a lot of sodas and you know I had one cup of wine yesterday so it wasn't that bad but I feel like that plays a part too in your under eye, under eye lines and facial you know features like that sweets and stuff really plays a part in it you know I tell my kids that they got acne real bad right now and you know, they were saying everybody got it. And I was like, well, that's just a sign, too, that everybody's eating bad. All y'all eating bad. Because I don't think, I think if they cut down the sugar, they acne wouldn't be that bad. But I can't say nothing because, hey, I got the same issue. I know that's why the acne on there. Because when you eat sweets and all that, it messes with your skin. 
I don't know why I'm having this rant about dieting, but it's very important. Health is wealth. That's the saying they say. I believe it's, it is true because when I'm eating right, when I'm working out, when I'm stretching, when I'm doing that, I feel better. I'm on point. So, hey, I'm putting it out there. I got to do better. Being honest with myself, I have to do better. I hate to say that on video, but I do. I fall short, and I'm falling short on <laughs> my eating. So, me seeing myself, you got to get better, Brittany. You got to get better because how I feel right now is not a good feeling. And, you know, I don't want anybody else. I know if I'm feeling this way and and how my size and what I'm doing, people who are bigger than me, like, I'm so in prayer for, for because... Yeah, it, yeah. Just the thought of what I be struggling with. I know, you know, it's worse for others. But that's no excuse. I know better, so I have to do better. Because I know what it does. So just admitting the truth on it and putting it out there and knowing I need to work on it. So um, just trying to be accountable for myself. Like right now, I just don't have any room to be talking about nobody else I don't have no room to be looking like you know hard and deep into somebody else's life and story you know I'm and, and just like pointing at them and like oh well they should have did this or you should have did this and you know sometimes I find myself doing it and I have to check myself like uh okay you you have no room to do that Brittany so, you know, like, just me putting it out there by my weight and, you know, just me feeling how I feel it because it does make a difference, I can tell. Just being honest with myself, like, taking that time. I said on a few other videos, like, last year, it started it, and I think it is still continuing as far as me really looking at myself and being honest. And this is just a way for me to, you know, keep up with it you know, to say, hey, yeah, I documented this day. I realized, I recognize this. And to take it and just work on it and be better. It's for me to improve me, you know. Like, because me looking at, you know, you'll be able to tell. Y'all will be able to tell. Whoever watched me but will be able to tell, you know. And it's just to another way, too, to put it out there to let people know that they ain't alone. Because a lot of us be feeling like we're struggling. We by ourselves that we just the only ones eating bad and you know we the only ones still messing up no you're not the only one i'm putting it out there because i'm letting you know you're not the only one you know we all have work to do we all have work to do nobody have room to be able to talk about nobody everybody should be looking at themselves and seeing what they need to fix before they try to speak on someone else and that's the whole point what I'm saying now, I can't talk about anybody else because I have so much work I have to do within it, me. I it is no point of me looking at nobody else or saying, oh, you did this. Oh, you need to fix this. Oh, you need to. No. I'm looking at myself. Am I right? Am I being true to me? Am I being honest with me? Am I keeping it real with myself? Am I holding myself accountable? Am I not making excuses for myself? Just like I try to put the expe expectation on somebody else to do their work at work. Or are you doing your work at your best? Or are you being the best on everything that you're doing? Or are you giving your best? You know, like, just being honest with me. I have to look myself in the mirror and be honest. And just because I do love me and I do care, I love me enough to be honest and not try not to be afraid to be able to share that with other people who might be struggling with being honest with themselves and who struggling with just looking at themselves in the mirror like it's a must you have to fix you first you have to heal you you have to be able to be honest with yourself and say hey i still got work to do i still have work to do and getting up every day doing a little bit of that every day not stressing yourself out not worrying about it praying about what you can't control and doing the things and fixing what you can control but anyway enough with that think about all that 
I hope y'all have a great day at work today, whether you're at work or you're at home, wherever you are. I hope your day is great. Be great in nothing less, okay? Because it's already in us. We just got to walk in it, all right? Love y'all.